Nikon D3400. Price, $497. Megapixels, 24.2. Sensor size, 366 square mm. In 2017, the D3400 is Nikon's flagship entry-level DSLR. A great value at under $500 with a kit lens. With this camera you get impressive image and video quality. For the price including a 24.2 megapixel APS-C image sensor. Full HD 1080p video at a variety of speeds. And the ease of use that has helped make Nikon so popular. All in all, the D3400 is a no-brainer for those looking for an inexpensive DSLR. That still gets the job done. One consideration for buyers is that the D3400 is very similar to the older and slightly cheaper D3300 below. The most notable improvement on the newer model is Nikon SnapBridge technology for transferring images and videos via Bluetooth and the D3400 also got a boost in battery life. With a $50 increase in cost over the D3300, you can't go wrong with either model but we appreciate the connectivity options and extended battery life of the D3400. Nikon D3300 Price, $447 Megapixels, 24.2 Sensor size, 357 square mm. It was a very close call between the D3300 and the D3400 above for the top spot on this list. First and foremost, these cameras are identical in terms of image and video quality. The $50 difference in price comes down to a handful of features. The D3300 lacks Bluetooth connectivity and has inferior battery life. The upside is that the flash is considerably better on the D3300, a nice advantage for those who frequently shoot. Indoors and in low light. Moving on from nitpicking about features, the D3300 has everything most beginning DSLR. Users need, good optical quality, a user-friendly interface, and an improved kit lens that is sharper and lighter than past models. At this price, the D3300 offers better resolution than the sub-$500. Canon DSLRs below and will outperform just about any point and shoot. Canon EOS 100D. Price, $449. Megapixels, 18. Sensor size, 332 square mm. The Canon 100D is the lightest DSLR in Canon's lineup, and we were big fans when it was released a few years ago. Now it feels primed for an update, with an 18 megapixel image sensor and relatively simple autofocus system that has been surpassed by newer Canon models like the 750D. The 100D still is a solid entry-level camera, but we prefer the higher resolutions of the cameras above. In 2017, the most direct competitor to the Rebel 100D is the Rebel 600D. Compared to the 600D the 100D offers touchscreen functionality, faster shooting, and better low-light performance. But the tipping point for us is the kit lens, we like the 18 to 55 mm STM offered. With the 100D over the 18 to 55 mm is 2 offered with the 600D. You can save $50 with the latter, but for our money we prefer the 100D. Canon EOS 1300D. Price, $449. Megapixels, 18. Sensor size, 332 square mm. Canon's popular Rebel series is a favorite among photographers and videographers on a budget. Unfortunately, with $500 you can't quite crack the higher-end models. 
The Canon EA750D is $749 with a kit lens and the 700D is $649. The EOS 1300D is a trimmed down version. With fewer megapixels, a simpler autofocus, and a fixed LCD that doesn't tilt. But at only $449 with an 18 to 55mm lens, the 1300D gets you a current digital SLR. From one of the best in the business. What do you sacrifice by going with the 1300D? For those who plan on shooting mostly still photography, not as much as you might think. Many of the features on the pricier 750D and 700D such. As the tilting LCD and STM lenses are designed with video in mind, and therefore aren't much of a loss for those capturing stills. But we don't like the drop in megapixels down to 18 megapixel, which we think makes the Nikon D3300 above a more attractive option at the $450 price point. Canon EOS 1200D Price, $389 Megapixels, 18 Sensor size, 332 square mm It's pretty rare that you'll find an interchangeable lens camera for under $400, especially from a brand like Canon. The EOS 1200D isn't loaded with features. By any means it's at the bottom end of Canon's EOS DSLR lineup, but we love the bargain basement price. At around $400 with a kit lens, it's the cheapest DSLR on this list. Why is the EOS 1200D so inexpensive? First, the rear LCD screen doesn't have touch functionality nor does it tilt, or swivel. Second, the 1200D has a slow burst rate at only 3 frames per second. Finally, the autofocus is fairly basic with only one cross-type focus point. But we love the price, which is comparable to some point and shoots. That don't offer nearly the same image quality. If you're comparing the 1200D to the newer 1300D above, the latter adds Wi-Fi and NFC along with a higher resolution LCD screen. Thank you for watching this video. If you love this video then give a like and share with other. For more upcoming top 5 videos subscribe this channel.